So folks, we're getting ready to walk some property here. We're gonna walk around and figure out where we're gonna put our trails, but stay tuned to the very end. We caught a poacher, okay? So we caught a guy that stand, deer stand is right on our property line, and we're gonna do a little bit of shenanigans to him. He's got his deer stand facing our property line. His corn pile is on our property. Not gonna call the cops, just gonna have some fun with him. Come on, check out the rest of the video. Hey guys, it's Josh, Tiny Ridge Farmer. Got the red beaver here today, and guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna be sniffing out some more trails. We're gonna take Mrs. Stony Ridge and the Red Beaver here, and we're gonna go over to our other side of our property where the forestry mulcher is gonna cut some trails so that we can explore our property a little bit more on the other side of the farm. So we got the Red Beaver. We're gonna check on the goats here first and see if anybody's had a baby. So folks, if you didn't catch the last vlog, I was talking about the goats. These goats are getting ready to have babies. I've got two or three that are getting ready to pop. Now, we just had the cold snap today. Temperature dropped about 15 degrees, which is a definite sign that the goats are gonna have a baby. It's funny somehow that livestock knows when the worst possible time is to have a baby, and maybe that's just part of nature. Maybe nature has livestock pre-programmed to make sure that the baby's tough. If the baby's tough enough to survive a real cold snap, and it's gonna do well. I don't know, I don't know how all that works. Anybody else got any ideas? Leave me a comment down there. Let's get them some food. Fainting goats, Josh? Nope. So folks, if you didn't catch the video of me and Red Beaver when we came and we sniffed out the property lines over here, he's sniffing a booger right now, by the way. If you didn't catch that video, I'll post a link somewhere right in here. We had a pretty good time sniffing out those property lines. So we pretty much marked everything kind of preliminarily until we could get a full on survey. So it was a good time. I want to show you a new toy we got here on the farm. We got this water tank here, guys. It's like a 450 gallon water tank. We're going to be using that to water our goats. And when we have a hog pen, we're going to build a hog pen somewhere in this area right here. So we'll be able to tap into that and get water for the time being until we get water ran up here to the tobacco barn. There it is, to the tobacco barn and to the livestock area. This is gonna kind of be our hog pen livestock area, far enough away from the house that we won't have to deal with a lot of flies and smells, but we run into an issue with not having any water. So there's a water solution, pretty cool. Guys, that's a 450 gallon tank. Somebody leave me a comment, tell me how many pounds that would be. How many pounds of water is that? And will this trailer hold it? That's the question. Okay folks, so we're here across the main road from the pond here, and this is the new 40 acre section of land and I'll show you what the forestry mulcher guy has done so far. He's gone ahead and he's cut a whole lot of these trees out right here. And I'll come back in with a tractor and pile those up, all that brush up, and we'll burn it. So let's get out of the gator here and we'll talk about the trail. We gotta build a trail, but we're close enough to the main road where people could ride by and see the trail. We don't want them to be able to ride by and see the trail. We wanna get that forestry mulcher in here and basically he'll cut a four foot wide swath all the way through the woods wherever we mark the trail. So we'll carry the camera along with us. We'll show you how we're gonna mark it and the thought process that goes behind it. Look at the beeves outfit here. <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay. Go ahead to toe on the red beaver right here, okay? <laughs> Guys, you don't get much more sexy than that right there. That's right? all I got. He's looking good. It's beaver. So it's hunting season. We put all this stuff on. Mrs. Stony Ridge is behind the camera today. We put all this stuff on so that we don't get shot. Right here, I think, is the section of woods where we're gonna go in. So if you look back here, we're far enough away from the main road here, we can go in and make this an entry point and we'll go in the woods and then we'll go that way and kind of zigzag all through this land right here, all back in here. What we're gonna do is tie this caution tape ribbons above kind of where we want the trail to start. And we're gonna minimize the guy's activity in the woods here. So basically you need to be thinking about, is this gonna be the easiest way? Is this the path of least resistance? And will it be comfortable and level enough for us to cruise through there and not be riding on the gator like that? Should be cool, like a four-wheeler trail. So the red beaver has changed my mind a little bit. Back here where we were looking, not quite the place. What do you think? I think we do what the animals do. Check it out. It's beaver. Yeah. Wide going. open here, this is what they like. They take the path of least resistance. I think we're far enough off the road, kind of hidden here by this outcropping. So I think it'd be pretty good. Red beaver, gotcha. we're gonna do this with our flags here. Uh, let me look down here, 
on the left at the tree. Hey, Scott, check this out. Scott, man. Dude. Yeah, eight pointer. Yuck, dude. So the problem we're running into is we're on a big time incline right here. Again, we don't want to ride the gator over on its side. But I think part of this trail is going to have to be that way. It's going to have to be a little bit steep. That is a sexy outfit right there. <laughs> it's beaver. The question is, do you want to go down there and turn? Down and left or gradually? I think we want to go gradually. This is not too bad of an incline. Yeah. Thank you. Why do we go gradually? It's coming through here. We're going to turn back up the hill and come back up this way a little bit and then cruise down through here and get on this ridge line and go right down through. Okay, well, let's mark it up to here then. So folks, this is the point where you click that like button. Click that like button, click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Watch our farm grow. We're going to have a whole lot of fun here. And click the little bell so it notifies you when I post a new video. Thanks a lot. Right now, I'm warming up. <laughs> what do you think about coming through? So coming on through here. This is where I took the dirt for the pond. There's the old pond yeah. right here. I like how it's open here, you know? Yeah. Looks good. Now we get stuck right there. But the spring starts right there. We went in and around the spring. Could you go down there and Cut head up? Or? Yeah, let's check, it out. check that out. think about going on the upper end of this pond or this is an old pond right here do you smell it there's an old pond right here so do you think we could go on the upper end okay. it smells good let's just fall so folks you know we're talking about building a log cabin these are the pine logs that we'll be building the log cabin out of i hope so my future plans here hopefully is to come in here and cut these logs out and you know what i really really would like to do my stepfather has a bunch of mules how cool would it be to come in cut our logs for our log cabin mill them ourselves pull them out with a mule that'd be so cool we'll see how that works not a kawasaki a donkey what do you mean right, right about here or something yeah okay i think we gotta go this way so folks, the problem we're running into right here is that this creek is pretty substantial. If we're going to cross with the gator here, we're going to have to put some rocks in right here and we're also going to have to really hit it. So we're setting up the road to where we come down through here and we go and we splash through there really fast. I think we're on it, bro. It's a beaver. So folks, back in here, it's like a Blair Witch kind of area of the woods. If you look, look how thick it is. Red beaver is like 200 feet from me and you can barely see him. It's really, really thick. I'm beginning to wonder if it's gonna be worth it to put this trail in over here. I, I, I don't know. Eventually we're gonna cut all these trees and replant and take back pasture. So is it gonna be worth it to do this? I'm kind of leaning towards no. Flex for me, sir. I am. Oh. See any beaver dams up there? Uh, you gonna walk this or? You see any beavers? Just one big black one. Okay. You smell that? What is it? It's beaver. You smell that? What kind of beaver? I'd have to see it to know for sure, but it smells like red beaver. It's not old, it's fresh beaver. So guys, I think our priorities have shifted. What do you think? I think so. So it costs about 1500 bucks a day to have this guy out, and it cost us about $1,500 to build this trail. It's just not worth it. There's just not enough usable terrain to build a cool trail out here so i think we're gonna abandon ship we're just gonna follow the red beaver around and have some fun here in the woods right <laughs> let's do it sounds like a good time so here's our beautiful creek and our beautiful wife and our beautiful piece of property guys thanks a lot for joining us here on the stony ridge farm today I'm just gonna walk around we're gonna mark out some trails here but it looks like we're just gonna dump a ton of money into nothing so we're not gonna do it we're just gonna walk the land and enjoy it today enjoy this beautiful day and walk with my wife and my best buddy good stuff
Thanks a lot, guys. Come on back and see us here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Got a lot of cool stuff coming on. Going to be working on the old $100 truck here in the next day or so. Got to get a little tune-up going on that thing, drain some old fluids out, and have some fun. So thanks a lot. Come on back and see me. All right? Woo! Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. So folks, the red beaver has sniffed something out that's very interesting. What is this? That is, appears to be a corn pile, sir. And where's the property line? The property line is approximately 10, 15 yards up the hill. And there's a deer stand right there if it faces this direction back to the Stony Ridge farmer's property, huh? Well, I'll be darned. You think this guy's been hunting on the wrong place accidentally? Nah. So guys, we just had this land surveyed, and right here is the property line, okay? It goes right through here, and goes right down through there, past Mrs. Stony Ridge. There's another ribbon right there. Now, this fellow's deer stand is right here. So here's the line, here are my feet, and here's this deer stand that's clearly been facing in my direction. And he's been shooting right down there. So just for shiggles, shiggles, we're gonna take this caution tape and we're gonna wrap this place up with it, just for fun. And maybe you won't get another deer. Kinda rude to trespass and hunt on someone else's property. All this guy would have to do, he's my neighbor. All he'd have to do is ask. That's all he'd have to do. Now I'm not gonna call the cops on him. I'm just gonna do a little shenanigan for him. That'd be the fun thing to do. So we're gonna wrap this tape. It says danger or perigro. That's funny. <laughs> I wish I had a ribbon that said crime scene. That would scare people a little bit more. I like to see this guy's face when he sees this. Should put a game camera down here, mount it way up in the tree. I could mount it way up in the tree and he'd come down here and be like, bruh. It's beaver. I got it. What do you got? 